Right, I'm excited. This is the first pike fishing trip of autumn 2020. It's the end of October. We're at Winton's Fishery in West Sussex on Mallard Lake. This venue is known as a catfish and carp venue. More videos on that coming up very soon. But today, it's all about pike fishing. <laughs> Right, we are at Winton's Fishery today in West Sussex. Now this is a carp and catfish venue. Big carp, 50 pounders over in Kingfisher, two 50 pounders. Um, Mallard Lake behind me here is full of catfish, lots of 70s, 80 pounders. Um, there's also some nice carp in this Mallard Lake. Um, there was a 40 come out last week actually. Uh, there's about 200 carp in here actually. Some really nice 30s, 40s. And basically I'm here carp fishing for three days. I've got a whole winter campaign going on. Uh, there'll be more videos on that. But to break it up, we're having a go at a bit of pike fishing for a couple of hours each day just to see how we get on. Now, when I was doing a winter campaign over on Kingfisher Lake, which is the big carp lake, um, I noticed I got bit off a couple of times by pike taking my boilers. So I had a bit of a go for pike. Um, I, you're not, you can't just come and fish for pike here. You have to speak to Stuart, the bailiff, and basically you have to use fluorocarbon and single barbless hooks which I would never ever do for pike fish. You've never done it. Never really trusted fluoro, to be honest with you. But um, I had a go with it and it worked really, really well. So little sort of size two hooks, which is quite small for pike fish, and just a single hook, little bits of blue eel mackerel. And I just caught so many pike from there. Of course, they've never really been fished for much, the pike. Um, but then I took that tactic and went to several other lakes and I, I started catching a lot more pike. Um, so today, I couldn't get on Kingfisher this weekend, so we're at Mallard Lake. It is sort of the end of October, so we're, the cats are starting to go to sleep, even though last night Barry next to me did have a 53 pounder out. Yeah, they're lovely creatures, but the calf are my game. You wouldn't want to be a roach, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't, mate, would you? Yeah, scared as death, wouldn't you? Thank you, Jimmy. So we have to be careful that we don't hook a catfish. We've got to be geared up for it. So we've got to fish slightly heavier than we normally would for pike. Um, but I don't know what pike are in here, or if any pike were in this lake. Now, the bailiff has just said, yeah, there is some pike in here. There was actually a 21 and a half pounder that came out about two years ago. So what a chance of a 20. So that was it, I'm ready. So rod wise, we've got, um, well, we've got basically a really cheap setup. I've got a, a Sonic Vader X rod. Brought this years ago. It's just a spare rod that I use for my carp fishing. These rods are about 50 quid. Absolute best rod money can buy for 50 quid. It's unbelievably good. Um, with cheap rods, I always worry about the eyes falling out, but the, the nothing has ever gone wrong with it. It's brilliant. Reel wise, we've got an old reel. Oh, it's getting windy. I think the bivvy's going to blow off in a minute. Shimano 6000 um, ST bait runner. Again, under about 50 quid. That has had a hard life, that reel, and it works like the day that I brought it. If you want a reel under 50 quid, that's what I would buy. So, the business end. We've got a size two barbless hook. You would never use that, would you, for pike fishing normally? I've used the continental style of hook because we're using small baits, and the way the hook's shaped, the, hook, the point seems to be in the right place for where I want it. Fluorocarbon, 0.92 millimeters in diameter. And I have it long. Look how long that is. That's about three foot. Now, when I started using this type of fishing, I was using a two foot uh, fluorocarbon sort of trace. 
I then went to some other venues and tried a shorter one foot bit and didn't really catch much. Today, I'm gone three foot. <laughs> so it's really long. It's still a bit experimental, this rig. Um, so we've tied that on. You see, I've left a little tag coming out of there. There's a reason for that. It adds a, it's, it's a bit like a bar, basically, for where, to keep the bait in place. We go onto a swivel, using bigger swivels than we normally would, as I said at the start, catfish. We've got a cheap 99p sea float. <laughs> I don't really ever know why people buy floats for five pounds for pike fishing. You can get these little sea fishing starter kits, right? Um, and I just use one of them. And then we obviously have a stop and a bead there. So it's really, really simple. Bait wise, we're gonna use tiny little bits of mackerel and we're gonna bait elastic it into place. The bits of bait are no bigger than my thumb tiny baits for pike fishing really because you know we all know a small jack pike will take a massive joey mackerel they take their take baits up to half of their size of pike so you don't need small baits but for some reason i'm catching a huge amount more pike using these tiny little bits of dead bait a lot of smaller ones i've not had anything over 12 13 pound um but my theory is you see massive pike caught on little tiny laws. So I reckon if there is a big pike around, it would take a little bait. I'm almost convinced of it. The last thing we are doing is on the bait, we put a little bit of this liquid halibut pellet um, stuff, and it seems to attract the pike in a little bit. It's the dynamite baits one. I've only used about a quarter of a bottle. I've had it about a year. Um, so I just put a tiny little bit of that on the macro and it just seems to release a little bit of oily, smelly stuff. I'm pretty sure it attracts the pike in. I'm pretty sure. Oils are, um, macro is a really oily bait anyway. Um, the bluey's the best bait. I haven't, didn't have any bluey at home, but bluey's my favorite because that really just leaves a natural, nice oil slick off. But macro does very similar. Saying that, you catch uh, a lot of pike on roach, which aren't oily at all. So, you know, it, it's, it's just what I do. I like mackerel and bluey. It's time to cast out. I tell you what, it's dark. It's gonna rain in a minute, but it's dark, it's gloomy. If you were to pick a day for pike fishing, today would probably be the day. Right, we've had a bit of a go for 45 minutes. What I've done is I've covered all the likely places, like all around the reeds uh, or in the margins. Over on Kingfisher Lake, um, I caught everything right in the margins. So I've covered all that area, no good. What I've done now is I've chucked it out about six or seven wraps out straight in front of me, which is kind of the end of my swim but I've been fishing at about three foot. Now it's about six foot of water here and I'm gonna try it right near the bottom now. Now what I've been doing is I've been moving it about all the time, moving the bait, move the bait. The bait's always on the move. Generally, if there's a pike around, I normally have it fairly quickly if they're on the feed. Sometimes with pike fishing, they like it, just a static dead bait. I don't know why it's different on different days. I presume they're just a bit lazy some days and they're not really on the hunt and they're just sort of, they just take it as they go past. So the only thing that I haven't tried is a sort of static on the bottom. Of course, we've only been fishing 45 minutes, but we're gonna try that now, straight out in front of me. Fingers crossed. It looks pikey, it looks pikey. Oh, it's just about to rain really hard. <laughs> I've been fishing a long time, but there's nothing quite as exciting as seeing a big orange float just bobbing around. Hopefully it's gonna slide off. It is exciting. Right, we've had, <laughs> we had a take and it's given me the right old run around here. Good Lord. It's a bit bigger than what we expected. Jesus, look at the size. Oh, I 
I reckon it's a 20 pounder. It's an absolute monster. Oh, it's all tangled around the carp line. <laughs> Good Lord, look at it. Jeez. Oh, come on, struggle. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I'm struggling to get it in a 50 inch hand in there. Got it. Oh. Yes! Wow, boys and girls, that. <laughs> He's got to be a 20 pound then. That's a 50 inch land in there. That could be 25 pound. Good lord. Good Lord, look at it. God. <laughs> it's an absolute monster. Good Lord. I mean that, look at it, it's lively still. God, that is an extra large carp unhooking cradle. Look, look at the size of it. God, come on, girl. Come on. We'll get you back soon. £22. Oh, that is an absolute beautiful pike. I think I've just caught the biggest pike in the lake within an hour. First pike fishing trip of 2020. That is monstrous. Look at that. Oh, pike look big and tough, but they're very fragile fish, so we're gonna put it straight back. Yes. It stopped raining a little bit. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the rig that we just caught that pike with. What a beautiful pike. I cannot believe that we've caught that within an hour of me fishing on the lake for the first time. Pretty sure that was the biggest fish in the lake. I think that's the one that was caught a few years ago at 21 pound. You never know, there might be more in here. They're not fish for the pike in here, so it's a job to know. Um, oh, did you see a bit, it was so lean. I've caught um, big pike before, but they get really fat. If that had a big belly on it, that'd have been almost 30 pound, I expect. This is the rig that done it. I got a little bit excited and stood on the float. <laughs> um, but what I want to try and show you is the fluorocarbon to see if it survived. Now, that, sh that, that hook is as sharp as when I put it in. That could go out again. Fluorocarbon, couple of little marks up to there. Can you see that? Tiny little marks. You could throw that out again. I can pull that. It's never going to break. It's just tiny little marks. I wouldn't use it again. But fluorocarbon's all right. To be fair, it wasn't... Because we're using small hooks, small baits, we're hitting it straight away. It's always going to be hooked pretty much in the scissors. So, you know, you're not going to be rubbing too far down here. But um, it works. We might have another go tomorrow. See if we can catch another one. I don't think it's going to be as big, but we could have another one. Right, I'm hiding in my bivvy. Um, I've had another little go for the pike, another half an hour. Uh, that was it. It's been horrific weather this weekend, um, and I have been hiding away. But I've done an hour and a half pike fishing over the weekend. We've caught a 22-pound pike. Probably the biggest pike I'm going to catch for this whole pike campaign. Uh, and we caught it within an hour, so brilliant. This weekend, um, I haven't caught any carp. I may have caught a massive catfish. There will be a video coming out on that very soon. So do come and subscribe on YouTube and I'll be back.